Big Polly's World of Sports Sims presents the Hometown Football League using Action PC Football 2020. And welcome to today's little rock and roll show, the Hometown Football League. We are still in week number six as we begin games for August 13th, 2020. Our first game will be Cincinnati traveling to Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh's a six-point favorite. Helps if I click play, right? Here we go. We have 70 degree weather. Very light wind in Pittsburgh. Cincinnati is the computer team. I am the home team and the human team. I mean, I get to run them. Cincinnati won the toss and elected to receive. Ken Anderson and Ben Roethlisberger, the quarterbacks. Cincinnati three and two. Pittsburgh at two and three. Sam Weich, the coach for the Bengals, and Chuck Knoll doing likewise for the Steels. Steelers, Steel Curtain, if you will. Looks like a very nice day for football. It's going to be Yeast, Watson, and Jones back to receive for Cincinnati. Touchback. So it'll be first and 10 at the 20 for the Bengals. They'll be in white, and Pittsburgh is in the black and gold. Dylan and Johnson, your running backs for Cincinnati. Hoosman Zada and Green at white out. Ross at tight end. Anderson at quarterback out of tiny Augustana College. Munoz, Steinbach, Johnson, Montoya, Anderson, your offensive line. Greenwood and Hayward, your defensive ends for Pittsburgh. It sounds like a law firm. Green and Hampton at defensive tackle. Ham, Lambert, Porter, your linebackers, Woodson, Blunt, Palamalu, and Shell, your defensive back. So let's see what happens here on first and ten. Just getting underway. Game number six of week number six. That's an incomplete pass. Anderson was looking for his tight end, Ross, there. Now a second and ten at the 20. Dylan is stuffed for a one-yard loss thanks to the tackle of Hayward. And Chris Collinsworth will come in, and he will be the third wideout on this third and 11 play. This is Dylan up the middle. A much better result for him, eight yards, but it will be short of the first down. So the Steelers will get it back on the punt. Pat McAnally back to punt, I believe. And it's a high kick. The punt went 46, the return went 11, but an illegal block will move Pittsburgh back to their own 13. Bettis and Johnson, your running backs for Pittsburgh. Brown and Ward, your wideouts. Ta uh, Miller at tight end. Roethlisberger quarterbacking. Kolb, Fenneca, Webster, DeCastro, and Jackson, your offensive line. Smith, Dunlap, Atkins, and Reed, your front four for the Bengals. Spikes, LeClaire, Perfect, your linebackers. Parrish, Riley, Casanova, and Nelson, your defensive backs. And on first and ten, we'll go to the bus. Dive play. And that's back to the line, and that is all. We'll go three wide. Put Stallworth to work on a medium slant. Incomplete. No penalty on the play. It looked like there might have been one, but it was picked up. And now you got third and ten from the 13. We'll go to Ward, medium cross. No room on the cross for Ward. Number 55. And the penalty against Kolb holding will be declined. And Pittsburgh will have to punt. They bring in Jimmy Orr. Punt it deep. Pittsburgh into the wind. Even though it's a very slight win, the punt goes 40 yards. It was fair caught by Yeast. And Cincinnati will have a first and 10 at their own 47 with 12.28 left. Each team, three and out on their first possession. First and 10 at the 47. I said that already. And here's Dillon picking up 11. It's Corey Dillon, Cincinnati running back, and not the uh, former Tampa Bay area DJ and radio host, who has moved on, I believe, to Atlanta. 
And we'll take a look at his game results. His best game was 105 yards against Minnesota. And receiving, he had 55 yards against Cleveland on four catches. First and 10, ball to 42. Incomplete. Anderson was looking for Ross, who was not a boss on that play. Second and 10 at the Pittsburgh 42. That's the Ross, and that's short by a few inches of a first down. Palomalu made the tackle for the Steelers. Third and inches, ball to 32. That's a give to Pete Johnson, and he gains a yard and gets the first. L.C. Greenwood brought him down. First and 10, ball to 31. To Dillon, one yard gain. Porter on the stop. Second and nine. A loss of a yard. Dillon, this time upended by Jack Ham. Third and ten. Ball to 31. There's a throw and a completion to Hujmanzada. A gain of 17 before Dudley gets to him. It was a fifth defensive back, I do believe. First and ten, ball to 14. No, I do not want to call timeout for Pittsburgh. Anderson to throw. He looks for A.J. Green, but Blunt was all over him, incomplete, and the officials do not deem that pass interference. Second and ten, same spot, 14-yard line. This is to Pete Johnson. Johnson picks up three. Hayward on the stop for the Steelers. Now a third and seven play at the eleven. Over the middle, that's Kevin Ross, and he's got a touchdown. I say Kevin Ross, I think I meant Dan Ross. Your point after try is good, and it's 7 nothing Bengals with 7-12 left. And let's just double-check the roster, and that is Dan Ross out of Northeastern. I think I said Kevin Ross erroneously. So Pittsburgh gets it on the kickoff. We have Woodson, Janua, and Dudley back deep for Pittsburgh. Touchback, five yards deep in the end zone, so they will not bring it out. We'll go to Johnson on first down this time. Off tackle right. A gain of three. Perfect on the stop. To Heath Miller on... A short slant on second and seven from the 23. That's complete, and I think he's got the first he does. A gain of nine. Casanova on the tackle. Bettis, trap right on this first down play. Gain of three. And that was Parrish who pulled him down. We'll go to Brown, Antonio Brown. Short cross. Incomplete. Of course, Pittsburgh was battered by Jim Taylor in the previous week on a Monday night game against Green Bay. Taylor ran for over 270 yards, if I'm not mistaken. Trap right. Well, actually, it's third down, so we don't want to do a running play with third and seven. We're going to go medium slant to Brown. Hope for the first. It's a dump off to Johnson, but it's short of the first. Gain of six. Needed seven. So Jimmy Orr, we're going to run a fake punt. And Orr gets the first down, but barely. LeClaire with the tackle at the 42, so Pittsburgh keeps possession on a rather daring play there. Don't say I never run a fake punt, because I just did. Bettis, screen pass on first and ten. And Bettis gains seven yards. We'll go back to him on a run. Trap left on second and three. First down. Long play action pass this time to Antonio Brown on first and ten. Ball to Cincinnati 48. Incomplete, but let's check the marker. Sides. Defense. 
Number 97, five yard penalty. Now a total loss for Pittsburgh. They pick up five on the penalty. Atkins called for offsides. First and five. Ball to 43. We have 2.12 left in the opening quarter. Trap right, Jerome Bettis. It's a blitz, so we're going to go to Johnson on a screen instead. A marker down. Could be holding. We'll see. Pass interference. Offense. Oh. Number 35. 10-yard penalty. They get pass interference on the, the guy who wound up making the catch, Johnson, and that will cost them 10. Now a first and 15. We will go to the bus. Soft tackle right. Another blitz coming, so we're going to change the play to a medium slant to, I believe, Antonio Brown. I'm having a hard time seeing the field here. I put my glasses on, folks. Bear with me a moment. Burfick sacked Roethlisberger for a loss of 12. I put my glasses on and just leave them on the bridge of my nose. It helps me see a lot better. Second down and 27. This is going to be a cab ride from Youngstown, Ohio. Screen to Bettis. Cincinnati was in a quarter defense. And it's Bettis on the screen picking up a nickel and a dime. 15 yards. So it's going to be third and 12. Stallworth. And we will go to medium hitch with him. That's caught, and Stallworth broke free, 20, 10, 5, put it on the board. <laughs> 50 yards, his longest catch of the year so far. Going after try to tie the game will be good. Gary Anderson put it through. We have 10 seconds left. Opening quarter, it's 7-7. Seven to seven. Yeast back deep for Cincinnati. And this could be the final play of the opening quarter. First and ten at the 20. A gain of two by Dillon and Lambert on the stop. We played 15. Pittsburgh 7 and Cincinnati 7. So we come to the commentary point of the game. I just wanted to thank everybody for all the latest subscribers uh, that, that I have gotten over the past few days. We're at 51 subscribers to the Big Polly's World of Sports Sims channel. I'm trying to get half of week six done this week before we go into the weekend and we do the other projects like Grand Slam Wrestling and the Franchise Hockey Manager and OOTP. So this is game number six. And we might get two games in today, and we also might get three games in today. It will all depend on weather conditions. It's been a little rainy and stormy here in the Tampa Bay area this August 13th. So we will put the pedal to the metal, and we'll try to get the all three games done so we can get to the second half of week number six this week. My goal is to get this project done and play all of these games we have we missed one game due to technical errors but we have 271 games on the schedule this is the 81st game if uh, my youtube playlist is correct or 82nd and my my goal is to get through this game through these games by the end of the calendar year of 2020 if very least by super bowl time or what is now scheduled to be the super bowl time in february uh, when Super Bowl 55 is played in Tampa. But back to the game. We have 62 yards on the board for Cincinnati. They have run 14 plays, 8 rushes. 85 for Pittsburgh. 13 plays, 8 have been passes. Second and 8 ball to 22. And that is a completion to Hoosman Zada for 15 yards. Woodson makes the stop for Pittsburgh. First and ten, ball to 37 as I try to suppress a cough. A quick pass. Uh, looked like 84 was the intended receiver. TJ Hujmanzada, and he's just listed here as TJ. That went incomplete. Second and ten, the ball is at the 37 still. Incomplete. Looking for Ross. And it was Donnie Shell who provided excellent coverage defensively 
for Pittsburgh. Now a third and ten. Marker down. Ball start. Offense, number 28, five-yard penalty. Repeat, third down. Dylan got, got got for a false start. Now it's third and 15. And a first down out of all of that, as Dylan makes up for the penalty he committed and gains 16 yards on the pass. And that was his first catch of the day. He also has six rushes for 20 yards. First and 10, ball to 48. They go to Dylan again. He picks up five. Blunt on the tackle for the Steelers. Struggling coming into today's game at two and three. Second and five, ball to 47. The pitch to Pete Johnson. Back to the line, and that is all. Lambert on the tackle. Now third and five, same spot, 47 yard. Incomplete. Anderson was looking for Johnson, couldn't find him. We'll watch for the fake punt here. And that's a sideline punt by McAnally out of bounds at the 10. 11.42 left in quarter number two. It is still a 7-7 game. That is trap right on first and 10. Try to beat the blitz here. They do. Gain of five. Webster, the, the perennial center, was hurt, but not enough to be taken off the field. Second and five. We'll go to Bettis again, and this is going to be a sweep right to the tight end side. He's close to the first down. He picks up four. Third and a yard. We'll go to Johnson this time, and we will go off tackle right. 83% odds of getting the first, but he doesn't get it. He's just short. And it was Francis who made the stop for Cincinnati. No fake punt here because Pittsburgh's already used that. Or we'll punt deep. They have a little bit of a wind advantage. And he goes to the sidelines, and it's a 47-yard punt going out of bounds at the 33. 9.32 left in the opening half. Still a 7-7 tie here at Heinz Field in Pittsburgh. First and 10 at the 33. A fumble. No, it was a penalty. I'm sorry. Number 71, 10-yard penalty. Hayward on the sack, and they will decline the penalty and make it second and 13. Ball to 30. Anderson looking and complete. Pete Johnson, the intended receiver there. And it's now third and 13. Same spot, 30-yard line. Over the middle, it's caught by Collinsworth. A gain of 16. Munoz a little shaken up, but he will be fine. He is wearing number 78, I believe. Yes, indeed. First and 10. Ball to 46. That's Corey Dillon. Picks up four yards. We have Elsie Greenwood hurt on that play, and he will not return. I believe it is Kevin Green who's coming in to replace him. No, it's Ernie Stotner. Ernie Stotner has come in and plays defensive end in favor of Greenwood. Scheduled not to return. Second and six. Dillon, does he have the first down? A fumble, recovered by Pittsburgh, and a touchdown. Hayward forced the fumble. It was picked up by Woodson. He lateraled it to Palomalu, and Pittsburgh has taken the lead, 13-7. That was a recovery of 57 yards. The point after try is good by Anderson, and it is 14-7. 19 left in the half, and here's Yeast back deep for Cincinnati. Terry Yeast, not a good return, only out to the 17. He took it three yards deep in his own end zone, and if you're going to take it out, you got to at least get to the 20. First and 10 from that 17-yard line spot. Anderson looking for Ross, holding and incompletion. Offense, number 78. They'll get Munoz for holding, and Pittsburgh will accept it. I know, because I just made that decision. First and ten, ball at the eight. Here's Anderson. 
to Hushman Zada. But another marker down. Defense, number 70, five yard penalty. This time it's Stotner called for encroachment and the penalty will be accepted. First and 14 at the 13. That's thrown and caught. Dudley on the tackle and Hoosier Zada made the catch. Just short of the first down. Second and inches they are saying at the 27. Dylan lost a yard. Stotner, Ernie Stotner who would go on and be a defensive coordinator for a few teams. I believe Dallas being one of them uh, with the tackle. Third and a yard. Ball to 26. They give it two. Blunt. He's short by a foot. I'm sorry, they didn't give it to Blunt. They gave it to Pete Johnson and Mel Blunt made the tackle. And now you have fourth and inches at the 27. Pittsburgh sets up for the return. Woodson, fair catches it at the 25, and a punt went 48 yards. 547 left in the opening half. It's 14-7 Pittsburgh on the Troy Palomalu defensive touchdown. Pittsburgh with 14 unanswered points. They'll go to Johnson on a screen on first and 10. It's completed. Johnson with a lot of running room. 50 all the way to the 47. Gain of 28 yards. That screenplay working very nicely for the Steelers. And I don't mean a screenplay that winds up in Hollywood. The screen pass. Trap right, Jerome Bettis. Bettis with nine. Parrish on the stop. And on second and one, Pittsburgh can waste a play, and they will. They'll go long to Antonio Brown and hope for a good result. Roethlisberger's going to scramble instead, and he's got the first. A gain of five. Bettis, trap right. Huge hit by Dunlap on Bettis, and Bettis a little worse for wear on that. Now second and ten, ball to 33. We'll go Ward, a medium slant. And looks like Ward has the better of his man, and he does. 14 yards. Roethlisberger put it in the air 53 times last week against Green Bay. And Roethlisberger threw for 363. He also threw two picks in that Green Bay Monday night game. Double tight end set. We're going to sweep it to the left side. And here's where Johnson will come in. Can Johnson turn the corner? No, he cannot. No game. 2-11 left in the half. That'll be the last play before the two-minute warning at 14-7 Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh would not mind chewing up some clock before uh, they relinquish possession here. Each team with all three timeouts left. They'll go to Heath Miller on the short hitch. On second and ten. That's incomplete. And now third and ten. Bettis. Trap right. Try to take advantage of Pittsburgh, uh, Cincinnati in the corner. Quarter defense. A gain of seven yards. Cincinnati not calling timeout, so Pittsburgh will milk the clock down to a minute five and kick a field goal here. Gary Anderson from 29. It's good. It's 17-7. We have one minute and one second left in quarter number two. Yeast again, back deep for the Bengals, and that's going to be a touchback. Let's see what Kenny Anderson can do with limited time. First and 10 at the 20. All three timeouts left. That's a throw and a catch to Hujmanzada for 12. And Cincinnati calls one of their three timeouts. They have two left now. First and 10 at the 32. Here's your give to Pete Johnson. Stauntner on the tackle. Gain of two. 
And Cincinnati down to its last timeout. They have used two timeouts in succession. Second and eight at the 34. And they're running the ball, surprisingly. Dillon loses a yard. There was a delayed blitz, and it allowed Hayward to make the tackle on Dillon. 43 seconds left, third and nine, and again another run. Dillon loses two, and Pittsburgh will bang a timeout. They will have one left with 28 seconds to go. Pittsburgh will employ the fair catch. A 44-yard punt by Pat McAnally. We have 23 seconds left to go. It's going to be a long cross to Stallworth on first and ten. See if they can get anything going here. Incomplete, deflected by Casanova. Fifteen seconds remain. And now I think Pittsburgh will just play for the second half. Trap right to Bettis. No gain. And Cincinnati uses their last timeout. That's foolish because Big Ben will just take a knee here and let the clock run out for the first half. Halftime in Pittsburgh at 17-7 Steelers. And we'll take a look at the stats. 150 total yards for Cincinnati. Pittsburgh at 157. Cincinnati has run 32 plays, 17 rushes. Pittsburgh 27 plays, 15 have been rushes. Nobody really standing out to me in terms of stats in the first half. Maybe Johnson's two catches for 34 yards for Pittsburgh and Hoosier Benzada four for 58 in the catching department for Cincinnati. And Pittsburgh gets the ball to start the second half, which is why they sat on it at the end of the first. We start quarter number three, and here's Woodson back deep. And he will return it two yards deep from his end zone. And a nice return, 25 27 yards to the 25. Here's Bettis. Trapped left. Bettis. Gains 10. He has 10 carries for 41 yards. And we'll go to Johnson on the screen. And I see... Cincinnati playing tight, so they're going to go a long fly to Heinz Ward here instead. It looks like he's got his man beat. He does. Pick up a 28. There was a penalty flag that was picked up. And Big Ben strikes again. 8 out of 13, 157 yards, and a touchdown so far. We'll go back to Bettis. Trap right. Bettis. Another nice chunk of yardage. 11 yards. They are owning the middle of the field right now. A stretch play to Bettis. And that's going to be another nice game. Nine yards. Second and one yard to go. It's going to be a dive play to Johnson on second and short. He's got a first. Gain of three. Pittsburgh in a double tight end set. Sweep left Bettis on this first play, first down and ten play from the 14th. And Bettis, nine more yards. He is now moved to 70 yards on the day. 13 carries. We're going to dive with Bettis here. Nothing there. A loss of a yard, in fact. It'll be third and two. This would be a good time for play action, and this is what Pittsburgh's going to do. They're going to go to Brown. Blitz coming, so it's going to be a screen to Johnson instead. Oh, that's overthrown. Incomplete. So Anderson comes in and will try a field goal from 23 yards out. That's good. And it's 20 to 7. Five, uh, 9 minutes and 39 seconds left in the third. Yeast again back deep, and that's another touchback. Cincinnati with a slight wind disadvantage at 5 miles per hour or less. 
First and ten from the 20. They give it to Dillon. Dillon down to six. So Cincinnati staying committed to the running game despite trailing by 13. Second and four. Ball to 26. That's incomplete. Hayward might have got a hand on that one. Third and four. Ball to 26 still. Going to be a draw to Dillon, who gets the first down to pick up a seven. Shell on the tackle for the Steelers. It's first and ten at the 33. To Dillon again, and Dillon finds some room on the right sideline and picks up six. Joey Porter knocked them out of bounds. Second and four. In the round. This is to A.J. Green, and A.J. Green picks up 13. That was his longest run of the season. Of course, wide receivers do not get to carry the ball all that much. And it's now first and ten at the Pittsburgh 48, so the Bengals come out firing after the Steelers had the ball for over five minutes to start this second half. Johnson gains two. Shell on the tackle. Second and eight at the 46. This time Anderson was wrapped up by Jack Ham. Loss of four. And that'll make it third and 12. We have 5.46 left in quarter number three. The throw to the left sideline for Collinsworth, and he gains 15. Woodson on the stop. First and 10 at the Pittsburgh 35 now. Cincinnati finding ways of converting third downs in the firsts. And this time, no gain for Dillon. This will be the 10th play of the drive coming up. Second and 10 at the 35 still. A throw incomplete. Looking for Ross, we are being told. Third and 10 at the 35. Here's play number 11. Drive has taken 5.57 off the clock, but it's going to take very little other time off as that was an incom incomplete pass to Ross. Pittsburgh watching for the fake punt at the 35. Punt of 30 Offside yards. Defense. Oh! Yard that's to Ernie Stotner. And uh, even though it's 4th and 10, that's big because now they'll bring the field goal team on to try a 47-yarder. It's good. Graham puts it through. And the Pittsburgh crowd thinking they were going to get the ball back without Cincinnati scoring. Well, they just gave up a field goal. 322 left. Quarter number three. It's 20 to 10 Pittsburgh. Woodson back deep for Pittsburgh. He takes it from the goal line. And that's not a bad return. 29 yards. Rufflesberger, 8 out of 14. He hasn't had to throw it all that much, 157 yards. And when you got a good running game, that helps your quarterback out tremendously. Sweep left to Bettis. And back to the line, and that is all. Johnson, we will look for him. Off tackle right. Maybe a couple, yes. Dunlop on the tackle for Cincinnati. Three wide set on third and eight. He'll go shotgun. Somebody call Billy Idol. Medium hitch to Heath Miller. Incomplete. Yeah, bad time for a three and out for Pittsburgh. Jimmy Orr, back to punt. On fourth and eight. Not a bad punt, but there's Bob a penalty. Defense. Five-yard penalty. It will be declined. Because it would be fourth and three, and they would still have to punt again. First and ten. Ball to 23. Two yards. As that was Johnson on the dive. Nearing the end of quarter number three, 20 to 10 Pittsburgh. Here's your second down play. That's a screen or a pass in the flat to Johnson, and he gets nice yards, 15. Ham on the stop at the 40. First and 10 from there. We have 49 seconds left. To Dillon. Dillon gains seven. Carl Pickens comes into the game as a fourth wideout. 
We start the fourth quarter. Cincinnati at 219 yards, 45 plays, 25 of them have been rushes. Pittsburgh, 228, 38 plays, 23 have been rushes. Cincinnati has a little bit of a wind advantage as we play this fourth quarter. Or start it. Second and three. They're down 10. Anderson will run, and he's not a bad scrambler. As evidenced in the last few games we've done of Cincinnati's, that's a gain of six. Mean Joe Green on the stop for Pittsburgh. Rumor has it Mean Joe Green will be looking for a young, young feller to give his jersey to in exchange for a Coca-Cola. First and ten, ball to 47. Anderson, incomplete, but a marker. Offense. Number 65, 10-yard penalty. A Steinbeck. It's called for a hold, and it's going to be first and 20 at the Cincinnati 43. Incomplete. Looking for Collinsworth. Second and 20. We'll update Anderson's stats on the mo in a moment. Pickens with a catch of 15, and that gives Anderson 11 out of 22 and 156 yards at a touchdown. Third and five. Ball to 42. You get the sense this game should be a little more even than it is. Stats are almost dead even across the board. Incomplete on third and five. Anderson looking for Chris Collinsworth. And again, Pittsburgh looking for trickeration here. Looking for the fake punt. And instead, it goes to the sideline. McAnally. Oh, out of bounds at the five. Very nice punt by Pac McAnally out of Harvard. First and ten at the five. We have 13.04 left. It's going to be a straight dive play to Bettis. Try to get Pittsburgh some breathing room in their own end. That's a gain of four. And it'll now be a second and six from the nine. They're still in the double tight end set. And they will go trap right with Bettis. No sale. A gain of one and that's it. Casanova made the tackle. Third and five. And they'll look to Brown, but it looks like Roethlisberger will call an audible. Try to get some recon on what the uh, Bengals are calling. They're going to go medium fly to Brown on third and five. They're in a double tight end set. It goes to Brown. Pick up with eight. Ken Riley made the stop. And it will be first and 10 now at the 18. Pittsburgh wants to use the clock as an ally here. They will sweep it left with Jerome Bettis out of Notre Dame. Gain of a yard. Atkins on the stop. Pittsburgh looking for... The time to just click off. They'll call plays with very little time on the play clock. John Henry Johnson, off tackle right. Gain of three. Another situation where Pittsburgh is up against it. Third and six. The look for Brown on the short slant. 72% odds of catching it, but not that one. That's incomplete. Cincinnati trying to creep back in this thing. Jimmy Orr back to punt. Line of scrimmage to 22. And Yeast loses three on the return. The punt went 40, so the net will be 43. First and 10 Cincinnati. They're at their own 35. We have 9.04 left in regulation. To Corey Dillon. Gain of seven. Palomalu will return in a few plays. So Wagner will come in to replace him at one of the safety positions. Se second and three, ball to 42. To Dillon, not an inch. Palomalu comes back in. Jason Hayward made the last tackle, by the way. Third and three at the 42. And Anderson runs, gets the first, four yards. Hampton makes the tackle. First and 10, ball to 46. Cincinnati down 10. Trail, trailing by 10, they get a one-yard loss. 
Dillon on a counter play, but Hampton snuffed it out. Second and 11 at the 45. Throw, incomplete, looking for Pickens. Palomalu drilled him and probably caused the ball to go right through Pickens' hands. Third and 11, ball at the 45. We have 738 left. Incomplete. Pickens against Palomalu, and Palomalu won that battle. Punting time again for Cincinnati. Not a good offensive uh, performance for them today. They haven't really converted a lot of the yards they have gotten into points. They have the yardage advantage. Pittsburgh's going to let this roll inside the 10. And rolls dead at the 7. We have 723 left. 250 yards for Cincinnati, 245 for Pittsburgh. Bettis, trap right on first and 10. Ball at the 7. They got to go 93 yards for Pater. Jackson hurt, and he is hobbling off. He will return in a few plays. Vericcione is going to come in and replace him at tackle. Played on the late 50s Steelers teams. He could also play outside linebacker if called upon. If Pittsburgh has to go really, really deep on their uh, defensive roster. Slant, Heat Miller. Roethlisberger sacked by Reed. A loss of three yards. And now they'll just give it to Johnson. Try to get uh, breathing room for the punt. He's close to the first. He's just short. A gain of 10. Pittsburgh will challenge. The ruling on the field is confirmed. A timeout will be charged. Okay. In HGFL play, you get one challenge. Scores cannot be challenged, and turnovers cannot be challenged, but anything else can be. And Pittsburgh used their only challenge to challenge the spot of the ball, which was kind of a hope. They had about 50-50 odds of getting the right the call overturned, but not to be. Or back deep to punt, fourth and inches from the 17. We have 6.27 to go. Still time for Cincinnati to get something going here. Another loss on the punt return by Yeast. Punt went 45, and the four-yard loss makes it a 49-yard net. First and 10, ball to 34. Here's Anderson, looking for Hoosmanzada and finds him. 10 yards. First and 10, the ball now at the 44. To Dillon, straight ahead. He picks up four yards. Hampton on the stop. Now a second and six at the 48. We're down to 555. This is an end-around play. And that went to Hoosmanzada, and he gained two on the run. Third and four from midfield. Anderson fumbled. He got it back, but it was a loss of five yards. So overall, a good play for Pittsburgh there. Fourth and nine. Pittsburgh will again watch for the fake. A lot of punts from Cincinnati, like at midfield or in Pittsburgh territory in this game. And again, Pittsburgh will let it roll. Just they really want a few seconds here or there to tick off. Woodson did return it three yards from the 9 to the 12, and we have 435 left. It's first and 10 from that 12-yard line spot. 20 to 10, Pittsburgh holding on. Trap left, Jerome Bettis on first and 10. A gain of four. Ken Riley out of Florida A&M made the tackle. Johnson. Dive play as Pittsburgh milks the clock. One yard loss. LeClaire made the tackle for the Bengals, who now have a third and seven at the 15. We have 341 left to go. Again, Pittsburgh's going to milk the clock for all it's worth. Trap right, Jerome Bettis. He gains two. They needed, se uh, they needed seven. He only got two. Fourth and five, and Pittsburgh will milk the clock down to 2.22, and then call a timeout. Jimmy Orr will punt it away. Line of scrimmage to 17. This time, East with the fair catch, which works out a lot better for him than his last couple of returns. The punt went 40 yards, rolled dead at the 43. We have 2.13 left, first and 10. 
Bengals need two scores. That's a sideline pass to Pickens. We saw Bobby Mitchell use that so well for Cleveland and got the decisive touchdown in that game with Baltimore in earlier action in the upper lower north division. I say upper north is basically the NFC north. First and ten. Ball to 46. Screen to Dillon of seven yards. Two minute warning. It's 20 to 10 still. We have a minute 52 left. Second and three. And that's incomplete. Hayworth stuffed it at the line. Third down, three yards to go. Another incompletion. Could be the ball game for Cincinnati. Fourth and three at the 39 of Pittsburgh. Anderson runs. First, First down. Foul. Defense. And Number 47. 15 more. 15 yard penalty. As Automatic. Mel First down. Mel Blunt gets called for a personal foul. That moves it all the way to the Pittsburgh 20. We have a minute 31 to go. Pittsburgh up 10. That was to Green, but Donnie Shell came over and tipped it. Second and 10, ball to 20. Anderson, his 32nd pass was an incompletion. He's only completed 14 of those 32 passes. They have uh, had 66 plays, and Pittsburgh now with 49. The yardage almost dead even, 283 to 260. I thought it was 283, 280. I'm sorry. Third and 10, ball to 20. Incomplete. Looking for Collinsworth. And Cincinnati is going to try to get the touchdown right here, even though a field goal does not hurt their cause. Fourth and 10, ball to 20. That is caught by Pickens, but he's short of the first. Short of the first. He needed 10. He got 8. And a minute 9 on the clock. Pittsburgh in control. It will run a safe play. Dive by Bettis. Now, the Bengals still have three timeouts left, but realistically, I don't think they have a chance. A gain of 1 by Bettis. Johnson... Dive. Second down. Cincinnati again calls timeout. We have 57 seconds left. Full house. They'll give it to Levon Bell. Sweep left. Cincinnati was in the quarter defense. Actually, no, they were in a dime. Gain of three by Bell. 49 seconds left. And Jimmy Orr will punt it deep. Ah. Yeast. Holding. Receiving team. 10-yard penalty. Came up in a hurry to catch it. Loses a yard. The punt went 34, so the net will be 35. Spikes holding. And it'll be first and 10 at the 38. They have 42 seconds left now. Oh. Got to get something oh. quick. Looking for green, and that's incomplete. Kenny Anderson not having a good day. 15 out of 35. That's caught by Hujmanzada, a gain of 16. But Cincinnati with no timeouts. He stepped out of bounds, though. First and 10, we have 27 seconds left. Long throw to Green, incomplete. Green wanted interference on Dudley, but no call. Second and 10. Ball still at the 46. Long throw, incomplete, looking for Collinsworth. Third and ten at the 46. We have 11 seconds to go. Five wide in the game for Cincinnati. That's caught by Green inside the 10, but they're going to run out of time, and they do. Game was of 38 yards. Blunt made the stop, and this one is over. Pittsburgh 20, Cincinnati 10. So Big Ben won the quarterbacking battle of a 106 rating to Anderson's uh, 73.2. Going to be tough to see who wins player of the game status. Pro Bettis probably had the best results, but nobody really stood out. Cincinnati with 345 yards, and yet they still lost by 10. Time of possession was even. Cincinnati called way more plays, 73 to Pittsburgh's 52. As Pittsburgh was really trying to run the clock in the fourth quarter. One turnover in the game. Cincinnati had that. 
And Cincinnati had 19 first downs to Pittsburgh's 12. We'll look at the scoring summary real fast. Not a lot to see there. Pittsburgh banged out 20 points unanswered. And Cincinnati got that field goal in the fourth in the, late in the third quarter. But that's it. 20 to 10, Pittsburgh. They go two, three and three. And Baltimore and Pittsburgh and Cincinnati are all going to be tied for second place. And we could try to decipher who has the tiebreaker here, because Pittsburgh has played Baltimore and played Cincinnati. They split against both of those teams. Cincinnati has lost to Pittsburgh but beat Baltimore. So Baltimore lost to Cincinnati but beat Pittsburgh. So they're all one and one. So you would go two points, net points. And right now, Pittsburgh has the edge there. They are plus, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Baltimore would have the edge there. They are plus 20. Pittsburgh is plus nine. And Cincinnati is minus nine. So if you if the season ended today, Baltimore would get the tiebreaker nod. Our next three games. Dallas and St. Louis, the Cowboys go to the Red Hot uh, Maroons, the St. Louis Maroons, combination of St. Louis Cardinals and St. Louis Rams, Dallas, a combination of Texans and Cowboys, Tampa Bay and Houston will play in an unplugged game, then we go to Jacksonville at New Orleans, so those are your next three games, your final today was Cincinnati losing to Pittsburgh 20-10. to this has been Big Polly. We wish you well wherever you are and whenever you see this. Godspeed and God bless, and we'll catch you again real soon. Bye-bye for now, everybody.